Hi there, uh, Joe Barnes here. How are you doing? Welcome to Create a Fan Page in Under Five Minutes. So we'll crack straight on uh, because I haven't got that much time to show you. Um, so the first thing you need to do is log out of your Facebook account if you're on Facebook and get to the facebook.com page, the main page here, and then go down to the bottom and you'll see Create a Page at the bottom there. So just click on Create a Page and that's going to take you through to this page here okay um, now basically you've got four options you can either create a page for a local business and there's all the niches there for local business um, or you can be a brand a product or an organization and there's all of the um, the niches for that or you can be an artist a band or a public figure okay now um, in order to create a page you must be the official representative of that page um, so let's say you wanted to create a page about something that you just had an interest in so for instance maybe you're a fan of the Foo Fighters and you want to create a page around them um, then you would need to go over here and create a community page um, and then you could create a page about the Foo Fighters and, uh, and get loads of fans and everything for that so for today we're going to create a brand product or organization and we're going to call it a professional service and then uh, I'm going to put in a name here, Social Media Rocks. Okay? And then I'm the official representative of that page, and I'm going to create official page. And that's going to take me through to here. Okay? Now, if you haven't yet got a Facebook account, here's where you can set one up. But if you do already have a Facebook account, which I do, then you just basically click on I do and log in to your Facebook account. That's then going to take you through to the page that you have just created. Yep, so there we go, there's the page we just created. So the first thing you need to do is upload an image. You immediately want to make your page recognizable. Yep. Um, so you can either upload an image from your computer or you can actually take a picture from your webcam on your computer or choose from an album or whatever. Um, for this purpose I'm going to upload a, a image from my computer, one that I prepared earlier. I found this image, this great image. Here we go, look, I am rocks image. So I'm going to upload that picture for this particular page. Um, and there we go, there's my social media rocks picture. All right. Um, the next thing you need to do is start providing some basic information. So if you go into edit page, here's where you can tell everybody who you are, what you do, maybe where you're from, where you live, um, and also some. You're going to say where the the page is, is, was founded, um, and then stick in your website a little bit about you, maybe your mission, uh, what you want to achieve with your page. Do make sure you put your website in here because not only does it give people somewhere else to go to find out a bit more about you, but also what it does do is it gives you a serious backlink from a very high ranking um, page here okay so do make sure you do that um, but the main thing with your page is to go across here to edit page just under your profile picture and here's what I call the hub of uh, getting your page sorted out so if you just work your way through these you've got the settings here you can enter a country restriction an age restriction I don't want it visible to the public yet because I want to have a mess around with it before uh, I make it visible um, the key thing is over here at the wall settings. If you click on edit on the wall settings, um, oops, keeps going, going. Then basically you can decide what view you want on your main page, whether you want it all posts, which is you and anybody else that comments, or only post by page, and it separates your comments and um, people coming onto your site. This is a great one because this is where you can basically choose where people are going to land when they get to your page, and you can set up your own fantastic welcome page, which I'll do with you in another video because I'm not going to have time to do that here. Um, this is your posting ability, so depending on what type of page you've got, if it's a business page, you're probably going to untick these because you don't want other people to post photos or links, and in a more of a community page, you may want to keep those on so that people can actually add photos, links, and videos, and things like that. You can edit your page from your mobile phone, and then down here, you've got all the different applications that you need to go and have a play around with, um, and then in another video, I'm going to show you how to add a static FBML page and create a great welcome page. In the meantime, guys, um, that's all I'm going to show you for now. Go and have a play around with this page. If you want to have a look at this page in action, by the time you see this, then this page will be live and in action. So head over to Facebook and look up Social Media Rocks um, and have a look at how, how I do my wall posts and um, you know, I'm promoting out to fans and all the rest of it. Thank you for listening, and I will see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.